Team Rudra was founded by our seniors five years ago. In the span of these years, we have achieved numerous feats, some in the eyes of public and some in the knowledge of team alone. In my experience, the team has grown each year from something what it wanted to be to what it has become today. Where the team once consisted of just eight members at the start, the team now fosters 30 students. Rudra is a conjugation of five different domains, mechanical, electronics, coding, bioscience and corporate. The development of Rover is divided in four main phases. R&D and planning phase, designing phase, fabrication and integration phase, and testing and debugging phase. The URC problem statement has evolved over the years and as a result of this, our approach to designing the rover has changed. This has brought into play a lot of designing parameters along with a special focus on systems integration. This year's JC has been a product in conception over the last few years. The mechanism is a three period point mechanism which allows the rover to dynamically adapt itself to a varying terrain. This allows the rover to not only navigate carefully over sudden inclines, but will also have a reduced shock impact which would have had a tendency to damage the onboard electronics. The chassis has been fabricated using high-grade aluminium 6063. The manipulator this year has undergone a series of iterations to make it more robust and more importantly responsive. Feedback has been implemented by means of potentiometers and inbuilt encoders so as to get the desired response and accuracy. The YPR has undergone massive development wherein we have made a compact YPR system by bringing into line the pitch and roll motions by means of bevel gears. A universal end effector has been designed to tackle all the tasks and reduce the time and complexity involved in assembly and integration. The electronics division of our team is divided into three subdomains power system, control system, and communication. We are using six high torque DC motors delivering enough torque to the rover for traversing through rough terrain and steep inclines. For the robotic arm, we are using electric linear actuators and servo motors to perform intricate operations on the field with precision. Our control system mainly comprises of Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and high end motor drivers. Raspberry Pi is being used as a master, which further communicates with Arduino via SPI protocol to command the system. Since image processing involves many complex operations, Ordoid is also being used on the rover. Various FPV cameras transmitting live feed at 1.3 GHz have been placed strategically on the chassis to monitor the surroundings as well as the rover. This year, the rover has seen a major shift in control from RC to keyboard. The use of keyboard aims to ease the control of the rover and reduce the setup at the ground station. We refined last year's GUI configuration to provide more effective control of the rover. The GUI incorporates a map to aid the driver with manual control. We can easily switch between autonomous and manual control using a key on the keyboard and uploading the coordinates of the rover through the interface. The rover transverses between two gates autonomously using GPS and compass on the rover. Once the rover reaches within 2 meters of the GPS coordinates, it detects the gates using OpenCV. For any mass rover, the main objective is to analyze whether the Martian surface is capable of supporting life. In order to determine it, we have devised an array of on and offboard tests along with its corresponding scientific instruments. We have split our task into three tiers. Tier 1 – Elemental Analysis Tier 2 – Biological Assays Tier 3 – Environment Specific Microbial Assays We have created a rugged bio box reinforced with iron and aluminium plates making it impervious to light and leaks. Inside the bio box, we have an UV visible spectrophotometer capable of measuring in the 200 to 700 nanometer range, which will be using it for the qualitative analysis. In tandem with this, we have an array of sensors capable of measuring various environmental variables such as soil temperature, pH, humidity, and also an ENOS to measure the gaseous compositions. Armed with these tests and instruments, we are ready to tackle the Martian environment. <laughs> 